In this video, we will talk about the anastomosis around the elbow joint. What is anastomosis at the elbow joint? Anastomosis around the elbow joint refers to the network of interconnected arteries that supply blood to the elbow region. It links the brachial artery with the upper ends of ulnar and radial arteries. Which arteries are involved in anastomosis? Several arteries are involved in anastomosis around the elbow. These arteries arise from three main arteries, the brachial artery, the radial artery, and the ulnar artery. Number 1. Brachial artery. The brachial artery is the main artery of the upper arm and splits into the radial and ulnar arteries. At the cubital fossa, it gives following branches for anastomosis. Profunda brachii artery, gives off the radial collateral, and middle collateral arteries. Superior ulnar collateral artery, arises from the brachial artery, and travels along the medial aspect of the elbow. Inferior ulnar collateral artery, also arises from the brachial artery, and runs anteriorly to the elbow. Number 2. Radial artery. The radial artery is one of the terminal branches of the brachial artery, supplying the lateral aspect of the forearm. It gives the following artery. Radial recurrent artery, arises from the radial artery just below the elbow, and anastomoses with branches from the profunda brachii. Number 3. Ulnar artery. The ulnar artery is the other terminal branch of the brachial artery, supplying the medial aspect of the forearm. It gives rise to following branches for anastomosis. Anterior ulnar recurrent artery, arises from the ulnar artery, and ascends to anastomose with the inferior ulnar collateral artery. Posterior ulnar recurrent artery, also arises from the ulnar artery, and ascends to anastomose with the superior ulnar collateral artery. Common interosseous artery, gives off the interosseous recurrent artery. How do these arteries form the Network of anastomoses. The anastomosis around the elbow can be divided into anterior and posterior networks. First, we will talk about the anterior network. It consists of following connections of arteries. Superior ulnar collateral artery. It anastomoses with the posterior ulnar recurrent artery. Inferior ulnar collateral artery. It anastomoses with the anterior ulnar recurrent artery. Radial recurrent artery. It anastomoses with the anterior branch of profunda. Now, we will talk about the posterior network. It consists of following connection. Middle collateral artery arises from the profunda brachii artery and anastomoses with the interosseous recurrent artery. Clinical significance. Understanding the anastomosis around the elbow is crucial for several reasons. Ensuring blood flow. The anastomosis ensures continuous blood flow to the forearm and hand. Even if one of the major arteries is occluded, surgical considerations, arterial ligation, surgeons must be aware of the anastomotic network. To prevent ischemia, when ligating arteries during procedures, trauma management, knowledge of the anastomosis, helps in managing vascular injuries around the elbow, diagnostic imaging, and geography. Imaging studies often highlight the anastomotic pathways aiding in the diagnosis of vascular disorders. Doppler ultrasound, used to assess the patency of the anastomotic network, and detect any blockages. 